Hi, everyone. It's Jeff Hammer, your DominatingEdge.com Law of Attraction coach. Today, we'll speak about the mind hijack. So stick around. Mira Lester tells us that mulling over a problem in order to come up with a solution is one thing. But when fear triggers the emotional part of our brain, worry takes over, often obsessively. Of course, as law of attraction practitioners, we understand that a worried mind attracts more reasons to worry more negative situations to worry about. Worry, in fact, can hijack our mind. I'm sure you know from direct experience the impact that worry can have on the mind. Listen, it's impossible to attract goodness, perfect health, abundance, happiness, or joy into your life if your mind is constantly hijacked by worry. It reminds me of my mom. With six kids, 14 grandkids, and a few great grandkids sprinkled in, she has plenty to worry about. (laughs) You know, the fact is, she has more reasons to celebrate or be in joy, but she tends to focus on the kid or two facing a challenge in life. I wonder if we all tend to do that. I guess we do. We're focused on that one nagging issue or that one worry in life, pretty much ignoring the 90 or 95% that is humming along just fine. If the worry is something you can fix, then quit worrying and start implementing a fix. Whatever your worry, someone has had the same worry and found a solution. Do some research, find a solution, and implement it. If we do nothing but worry, we're going to attract more reasons into our life to worry. This is the law of attraction. That's how it works. But if we intentionally shift our focus and focus on what is going right in our life or focus our positive intention and emotion on what it is we'd like to attract in life, we'll manifest more of that. So stop allowing your mind to be hijacked. You know, the Dominating Edge morning routine is intended to get you started off in your day focused on what it is you'd like to manifest in your life. This is a scientific formula that's been used in various forms for centuries. Focus your intention and emotion on what it is you want in life, and you'll manifest that. For my mom, I remind her not to worry about things she has no control over. (laughs) You know, this poor lady has had three strokes during COVID over the past year, yet lays awake mindlessly going through her list of kids to be worried about and for every night. The greatest gift we can give ourselves is to not worry about others. A mentor of my younger brother, Jason, had some great words of wisdom when it comes to kids. He suggests, from zero to six, we train them. From six to 12, we guide them. From 12 to 18, we cheerlead them. And from 18 and beyond, we consult when asked. This is such great advice. I love it. When I heard it, I was like, wow, like magic. And trust me, I work on this every day. I have one nephew that hasn't talked to me for a few years because I was, quote, mean to him. 
end quote. I actually chewed him out at lunch for driving his car on a suspended license. (laughs) I guess I should have just enjoyed lunch and consulted when asked. Oh well, we all learn and grow. Stop letting your mind and your good intentions and your goals and desires in life be hijacked by worry. Breathe in the goodness of life and exhale the worry. Thanks for listening. I'm knowing all the continued best for you. An ironic media production. Visit us at ironicmedia.com.